back to another episode of my Genshin Impact playthrough. Last time we got thrown in jail and I'll hate them, just get sent off to our village, but that's part of the plan. We're all good. And now we gotta figure out... Spot that's the strongest. Oh, wait, it's over here. Whoa! It's Mora! Oh. Oh, Mora! Uh, no, Paimon, we're not here to hunt for treasure! It's a little slow now. Uh. Oh, no, here's good. Nahida! It's quiet. Oh. Nahida! Ah, uh, spoke! When did it first start? Oh, right. It started from the moment I was born. That's so, so sad. I want to become a worthy Archon. So I've kept studying. Kept listening to my people and their hearts. Kept looking for a way to save Ermin's soul. So I can catch up. I'm poor Naida, she's trying her very best, and the sage is like, Ah, you're a child, you can't do anything, and poor Naida's like, please, I'm trying. Catch up to greater Lord Rukitavata. But I'm stuck in the sanctuary of Sarastana. The sages are creating a god to replace me. And I'm forced to lock my consciousness in this boundless darkness. Poor Nahida! Nahida! Leave her be! Nahida! She's yelling from powder, so that's how this works. Nahida! It's so quiet here. <gasps> Now that I think of it, I don't think I've ever actually listened to my own inner voice. Do Archons have them? Should Archons have them? Have I been doing the right thing? No, you've been doing everything right, Nahida, no. Sweet child, no. Am I really not needed? You no, we need you, Nahida. You're adorable and cute and so sweet, and you care for everybody that nobody else does. Yes, we need you. Please. How do I really feel about all of this? Please, Nahida. It's so quiet here. Huh? Since you're the god of wisdom, you've known the answers to all these questions since the very beginning. Haven't you? Who are you? 
Whose voice is that? It sounds familiar. Trevor? You're right, though. I won't... I won't ignore my own voice anymore. Juanita, you can do this. Mahita! Mahita! Fred! Uh, uh. <laughs> Nahida? <laughs> She's too pure for this cold, hard world. Nahida. Did you wake me up? <sighs> Thank you. Why are you here? We're here to rescue you. Are you all right? I don't know if I like hearing Traveler's voice. I'm fine. It's just... When I think of everything that's happened to me... I feel really angry now. Come on, Nahida, fight back! Uh, fight back with us! You should have been angry ages ago. Fight back with us, Nahida, please! Please, Nahida. Best archon huh? ever. Oh, you're back! How's everything? Nahida's wig! That's wonderful news! When you went to wake up Nahida, Paimon was look you were out for a long time. There are fewer and fewer scholars going about now. You think everyone's up? Yep! So that means our next act is Nero's performance! Huh? I'm confused. Why is Nilu gonna put <laughs> this? Destruction? I don't know. Possibly. Poor Nahida, she's so sad. Am I even needed? That's <laughs> so sad. Nilu, the are like you crazy. sure about this? You're taking such a great risk for them. Why do they have to treat her so badly? She's been so nice. I'm sure, and I'm going. You know that I don't like to pass up any opportunity to dance, and this one is especially important. <sighs> All right. You seem to have a lot of trust in them, so I won't say more, but if anything happens, the few of us here may not be able to help you. Don't worry. They've been through worse. Everything's going to be fine. All right. You know, if you really do get arrested, we'll do everything we can to get you back. Be careful, even if it's only for our sakes. If you get arrested, we'll bail you out. It's fine. <laughs> Thanks, Mr. Zubair. You're so very kind. I get to play as Nilu! It's a strange experience. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. It's weird. I don't have a light either. Nilu, how's it going? Nervous? Definitely more than usual. But it's because I'm worried I won't dance well enough. It's okay. Just focus on your performance. We'll take care of everything else. <laughs> <laughs> you sure know how to talk. Taking all the credit, even though we came here together to help. Well, thank you both. I'll have to treat you to a meal after all this ends. I really, really appreciate all of your help. Everybody band together. Ooh, that Nobody sounds great. The academia. Huh. How can we say no to that? To the stuck up fools who are the academia. All right, let's get back to business. Nilu, we'll be here to keep people from going to the academia so they don't interrupt your prof- I was planning on telling them something like, the academia's been conducting a weird experiment and some of their test subjects escaped. It's really dangerous that- Oh, you couldn't think of anything better? Oh. <laughs> I think it sounds great. I'm counting on you guys. Don't worry. It'll be a piece of cake. Hopefully. All right, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, there's children. Hey, Nilu. Sorry, it's great to see you, but I'm really busy right now. Our bait people away with Yalda Candy's plan is... Do you want some candy? We have more than... Vihar, thank you so much. I'll pass on the candy, though. I cut back on sweets in the period leading up to- <laughs> You have a point. 
The stage is clear. Yeah, thanks to you. I'm really great. You're welcome. The honor's all mine, since I'll have such a great view of the show. Mm -hmm. Alright, come on. Don't fail us now, d -Lu. Come on. Subaru is the favorite child of all the different regions. <sighs> seen a performance like this. This is incredible. Yeah, but I heard that public performances like these have been banned. I can't believe she's doing this here. Grand Sage, there's some commotion outside. <laughs> How uninteresting. Issue the new Prohibition Act from the Akasha to the guards. They'll know what to do. I think we should, like, stop her? Let's just watch for a little bit longer. <laughs> Valley was uh, escaping. <laughs> was it about her? So all the guards are going there and see it. This is interesting. Subaru is the favorite child. They get all the animation what? today. Did you hear that? <laughs> it sounds like a lot of guards just ran. Does this mean the plan has moved on to the next stage? Yep, yep. If come to think of it, when did Alhatham replace the knowledge capsule that was about to be entered into the Akasha? Oh, so that's when he did it! What do you mean? Paimon was too nervous to... Speaking of, didn't Alhatham also yoink the divine knowledge capsule from that mercenary leader in Port Ormos when everyone else was distracted? He's yoinked a lot of capsules. Oh, it's a time-tested trick of his. <sighs> Why are we complimenting him? Yeah, he's smart and all, but he still makes Paimon's blood boil. <sighs> Let's review the plan for fun. this. Paimon remembers that Nilo's task was supposed to go a bit like this. Oh, uh, well, now we get to know the plans, finally. Now that Lesser Lord Kusanali's consciousness has been forcefully sealed, the core figures of the Academia and their guards have started to wear their Akasha terminals again. With the Doctor's technological support, they think they have nothing to fear. How despicable of them to rely on such a person. But this is also our chance. I was originally asked to draft the knowledge capsule for the Artistic Performances Prohibition Act when I was still at the Academia. It should be on the Grand Sage's desk right now, and will be entered into the Akasha during the next Nyagarbaha day. Are they really going to stop all artistic performances? That's horrible! I'll make an identical knowledge capsule, but this time, I'll smuggle some misleading information into it. We only need to find an opportunity to switch the capsules. Once it's been entered into the Akasha on Yagarbaha Day, if someone were to be seen performing in- The sages would definitely use that opportunity to announce the ban. And so, the misleading information will be disseminated amongst the guard. Sure sounds complicated. But it seems like if everything goes well, we'll be able to get rid of all the guards in the academia without it. That's pretty clever, getting right in. I just have one question. Even if we manage to get the misleading info out to the guards, how can we be sure that they'll believe it? Uh, People who are used to relying on the Akasha become less inquisitive, and their ability to distinguish truth from misinformation is significantly reduced. They will view everything the Akasha releases to them as the unequivocal truth. The Akasha will turn humans into machines. I've seen it happen many times. 
Yikes. Good thing I didn't wear it for long when I was working in Sumeru City. At first, I thought it was a good thing, too. By the way, this plan still requires a performer, right? Do you have someone in mind? Nilu of Zubair Theater. I know her really well. We can trust her. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of hesitant to ask her to participate in a dangerous plan like this, but we can ask her in person. All right. After the guards and the academia are gone, uh, then it'll be time for me and my stowaway brothers to shine. Are they gonna storm the academia? That'd be amazing. I love how it's telling us the plan as we go. Here they come. Did you see that, Raman? They came out from the academia and drove. After laying low in the city for so long, this is the moment we've been waiting for. I'm <laughs> we couldn't do anything to them inside their coop, but outside the academia, this is our home. a lioness like you, the prey sure won't be able to run far. We still need to eliminate the guards as soon as possible. If we give the sages enough time to realize what's happening, the plan's doomed. Yeah. yeah. All they've done is to sit on their cushy salaries and twiddle their thumbs all day while we fought and struggled every day in the desert. The only advantage they might have is their... Speaking of which, most of the guards who report directly to the Six Sages belong to the Corps of Thirty, but they have a completely different rep. Following those blasted Sages every whim, throwing away all the principles of being a mercenary. As someone in the same profession, I'm obligated to... Indeed. The trap. All right, let's each take a rope. You gave such an important... It'll be fine. Isak was so determined. Besides, even if he's caught, the guards would be too scared to do anything to him. They've never seen Lesser Lord Kusanali in person, after all. You've got a point. Good luck. Wait. I'm confused. What are they doing? Outfit. <laughs> this is amazing. Hey, do you remember what you need to do, Isak? When the guards get here, you'll pretend to be Lesser Lord Kusanali and run away from them. Oh, yeah, I remember. Of course I do. I'm just a, a little nervous. <laughs> Relax. Don't think about getting caught. Even if that happens, we won't leave you behind. You only need to think about getting the guards' attention and leading them to the Grand Bazaar. Leave the rest to us. Okay. Got it. I'm here to pay back Lesser Lord Ku- Hey! They're here! I can see the Academia Guard! Oh boy. Alright, it's time, Isa. Please. It's to be the low end. It looks nothing like the heat of me. No one, it's fine. <sighs> Why is there a guard over there? Did he already run ahead of me? Mm, this is different from our plan, but there's no time. I need to make a choice. Right of the field. Huh? Did I? I'd better go have a look. God. This is stealth. Are my eyes stealth. playing tricks? I should go check to see. There seems to be nothing here. Uh, just to be safe. Oh, good thing they didn't find me. I was close. I'd better hurry and keep going. <laughs> he completely lacks the green eyes and it's perfect. Hey! Lesser Lord Kusanali is over there! Stop! What? Lesser Lord Kusanali? How did I not see anything? Oh no, they found me. Where should I go? The bazaar. The target suspected to be Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped into the Grand Bazaar! Hopefully. I'm gonna make a wrong decision. That'd be bad. Where did she go? How did she disappear? Did we lose her? Hurry up and find her! Hey! Oof. Why is your team here? Didn't we say to split up our search? Hurry! Hurry! <sighs> this place is... Why are you all here? Yeah, isn't it one heck of a coincidence? Everybody's here. 
What on earth is going on? I suppose that's all of you? Who are you? Did you set us up? What are you planning? <sighs> Phew, that was rough. I almost got caught. Oh, little brat! So you're not actually Lesser Lord Kusanali. Who is... Just some colleagues. Think of this as a business competition. Or, after stepping into our trap, stop thinking... Please, can I find a... Please? Tapidia, please? An ambush? How's that possible? You've spent all your time hiding away... No, I don't get to do it. Sad. It's going on for a while now, geez. Hmm. This is odd. Mm -hmm. The academia has quieted down after the conclusion of the Neagarba Day ceremony. Where are the guards? Why have I not seen a single one? Guards? Guards! Grand Sage, how may I be of assistance? I called for the guards. Why did you come? Uh, my, my apologies, Grand Sage. Right now, all Academia guards have entered the city to perform the ordered arrest. I thought you... Arrest? Who is there to arrest? I have an ominous feeling. <laughs> uh, arrest Lesser Lord Kusanali, right? Is that not what the order was? Lesser Lord Kusanali? You mean she has disappeared? Uh, yes. I wouldn't dare make up something like that. They're gonna go open it up and that's when we get in. Right now, oh. everyone is in a panic and many are saying, what happened? Just what is going on? Lesser Lord Kusanali somehow, it that's impossible. The academia is heavily guarded today and any order to release Lesser Lord Kusanali would be strictly confidential. Besides, what manner of trickery did they employ? How could disappear? Wait, how was the arrest order distributed to the guards? It was issued by the Akasha earlier today. Only you have the authority to send messages like that, so I thought it was your order. Let me check. <sighs> Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped from the sanctuary of Surasthana. The Akasha indeed contains this information, and it clearly appeared in my mind. How did they bypass my permissions to issue this kind of message? <laughs> Was it the report about the Traveler that Alhatham submitted? No. I specifically checked that knowledge capsule before entering it into the Akasha. Could that have been a red herring? Well, even if I figure it out now, it won't make any difference. The important thing now is to confirm Lesser Lord Kusanali's status. Have you been to the Sanctuary of Surasthana to confirm that Lesser Lord Kusanali is indeed a... Confirm? N no <laughs> I, I haven't. It may be a bit offensive to say this, but Grand Sage, what you're saying doesn't make any sense. How can the information in the Akasha be inaccurate? What the Akasha decrees is fact. That is common knowledge to all of us. If we have to confirm the information and knowledge from the Akasha ourselves, then how is that any different from us learning that information ourselves? Wouldn't Greater Lord Rukadavata's legacy lose its meaning that way? In the beginning, it was I who asked you to believe in the Akasha, to believe in the legacy left by Greater Lord Rukadavata. Are you trying to use my words against me? Maybe. N no, Grand Sage. I'm merely confused because I believe in you. I never meant to refute you. <laughs> Stay here and see if there are any suspicious people around. I'll go to the sanctuary of Surasthana on my own. Hmm. Grumpy old man. Yes, Grand Sage. Grumpy old man. Do, 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 do. Going on for a while now. Jeez. Lesser Lord Kusanali has escaped from the sanctuary of Surasthana. Go. How can that be? Stop thinking about it. Stop. It must be a trick of theirs. As long as I personally confirm it. That's the trick, though. Ah! Impossible. That's impossible. There must be something wrong with... Oh. she actually out? Huh? She really appeared again? What is the meaning of this? What a comical sight is are. <laughs> oh. 
Once the Akasha has put certain thoughts into your head, even the Grand Sage can no longer see what's right in front. You all can only see the world in your mind, the one you think you know. And precisely because of this, you disregarded Lesser Lord Kusanali's existence. You can't disrespect Nahida like that. She has been a wise and worthy Sino. Have you been waiting for a chance like this? The Akasha predicted that you would return to the Academia to confront me, but I didn't expect it to turn out like this. I was careless. You think? No, you were blinded. Your faults stem from your reliance on the Akasha. You're still the same as always. I truly did not expect a proud person like you to cooperate with all Haytham and the Traveler. People change, Azar. Admit it. The Akasha can't predict my actions anymore. <laughs> then tell me, what have you found during your investigation? You want to buy time? This is the Sanctuary of Suristhana. Under your own regulations, even Academia staff are forbidden to come here. The perfect setup. No one will come to save you. As for the investigation, I've at least confirmed that you are guilty of insurgency against the Archon. A serious crime. So what? Did you do all of this so I would plead guilty in front of you, General Mahamat? No. I want you to plead guilty in front of the Archon herself. Mm. You once said that I had no standing to judge you. So now, how about judgment in the name of a god? He's so cool and I love Saito. Do I get to fight as him? No, come on, man. Let me do something. Uh, oh, Paimon hasn't heard any sounds outside. Yeah, but uh, thinking about it, at least pa when Paimon thinks of freedom. Dia. Here comes your savior. Yay. You two really owe me some big thanks. I had to search through who knows how many guards to- Thanks a lot. Need Paimon to rub your shoulders? Uh, no, no, that's, uh, I'll pass. What are you afraid of? Ugh, now isn't the time to talk about being ticklish. Things in the city and on Sino's side are both going well. The guards that stormed out of the academia are all taken care of. The Corps of 30 is in charge of the city's defenses. But we already talked to Asfand. They've been fed up with the sages bossing them around. As long as it doesn't break their employment contracts, they'll turn a blind eye. That's probably because you've been super great friends with them for a long time. So, how Sino- The Grand Sage is in his custody. Even I know how terrible it is to fall into Sino's hands, so he probably does too. Sino forced him to release Lesser Lord Kusanali. He has no choice but to obey. So, <laughs> hurry to the Sanctuary of Suristhana. Assuming nothing weird happened, we should have already rescued our Archon. Yay! Honestly, I didn't expect our ragtag bunch to do this well. All right, you two better go. I still have to clean up some messes in the city. See you around. What about a uh, Valdir, real quick? You know, a big problem here. <laughs> oh, come on, let me play the game. Please. Just a bunch of cutscenes, basically. <gasps> but that'll be it for this time around. I hope you guys enjoyed this very long episode. I apologize for it being so long. Um, but I will see you guys next time. Peace.